I am here today talking about when developers or basically when games are rushed. And let me explain why. The game in the background is ReCore. ReCore is actually a really fun game, probably the funniest game I've played in a while to be 100% honest. A solo single player game that I've played in a while. It kind of has a Borderlands feel to it in my opinion, that's just my personal opinion however. And I really enjoy the game. However, it is a prime example of when a game was rushed. So when this game was first announced, it was a really interesting game. I thought it was interesting. I thought I'd, you know, eventually at some point later on down the line after it came out, pick it up. I tried the trial of the game. There's a 30 minute trial. You can either try on Xbox or PC. The gameplay in the background is on PC, by the way, full 1080p, etc. All right. And basically I was like, yo, I like this trial so much. I'm going to buy the game. You buy the game and the game is actually really fun. However, you can tell this game was rushed. I'll go ahead and put up gameplay over the gameplay that's currently there now, showing you that there is literally a hole in the game wall, in this part of the game. And this is not the only part of the game that this happens in. I have seen this 9 through 10 times. Now, a lot of people are probably like, Ray, this is just a glitch. You know, you could just like... Because in a lot of games like Assassin's Creed, when you when that happens and you fall through the map or whatever, you just reload the game and then you're perfectly fine and it's loaded in there. But no, these are actually core parts of the game that are not put into the game. Those walls are actually holes in the walls. They're not coded in. There's nothing there. And there are parts into the game like they're really subtle parts. But if you look at certain parts in the area, you can notice where it's like, boom, you know, like you can you can see outside the map, through the map, etc. And you're like, that's not supposed to be there. And even if you reload the game, it's still there, which means it was unfinished. Which means ReCore was actually rushed to production. And it's kind of a shame because when games get rushed to productions, this ReCore is an example of what happens when that happens. However, the developers are bringing out patches which are making it better. But there is something that is really big that is an issue in this game. If we take a look at the front cover of Record right here, one of the front covers, okay, there is five total companions right here. Now, you may notice that I have one of them highlighted in a red square. The reason being is that companion is not actually in the game. He's in the trailer, that companion is in the trailer, it's in that cover art, poster art that, I, that I'm showing you right now, but it is not actually in the game, and that's why I have it highlighted. The thing is, you can find augments for it, you can find the tracks for it. You cannot find the main frame for it to build it. Well, Ray, why is this an issue? Well, you can go and complete the main quest of the game. You can actually finish the main campaign itself. However, to get to one of the dungeons, which I think is called Tyrant's Forge, and also to complete a secondary objective in one of the dungeons, you need this thing. But it is not in the game, and it's been confirmed by the developers which shows us that it was rushed. The game was rushed, which is very unfortunate because if it wasn't rushed and it would have had a little bit more time, the game would have been absolutely perfect. It's already a blast to play, but with the parts in the areas that you can see through the map and the coupled with the fact that there is a fifth companion missing, which makes it so you can never get to that tyrant's dungeon. Now it will, I'm pretty sure it will later on be added in as either DLC or it'll be added in as a free update, one of the two. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's going to be added in as DLC or they're saving it for DLC or something like that because of the reason being that the game was only marketed to $40. I feel like they thought it was going to be in the game, then they realized they had to meet deadlines, they realized they couldn't add it into the game, so what they did was they was like, we're going to market this as $40, you know? So... What it comes down to is when main publishers or when publishers rush developers, this is what you get. And it's really sad because a lot of games that are really, really good, that can be really, really good, wind up having a lot of bugs and glitches, graphical glitches and errors, and main core parts of the game missing. The fifth companion in the game is essentially a core part of the game. Because in order to get to one or two dungeons to collect all the cores to get to the Tyrant's Forge, because it requires 75 cores, you need that companion. But it is not in the game yet. Which means they were going to put it in the game, but they ran out of time and they were rushed by the publishers. Overall, when publisher rush games, this is the sort of things that happen. Things get left out, we don't get what we were actually promised. Case in point, a lot of people point to No Man's Sky for that reason. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to, go check out the record trial. This is not 
a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is me just saying I really like the game. You guys can go check it out. Play a 30-minute trial. It's actually a really cool 30-minute trial. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.